Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. As I told, there are 18 groups, right? So there are two ways to classify uh, elements in the groups. One can be SP or DF group. And also we have group 1, group 2, group 3, to group 18. I think you have learned this in the previous slides. So how do we find which group it belongs to, whether the element belongs to group 1, group 2 or group 3? For that there is a rule. First find the block it belongs to. If it is S block, then the group number is nothing but the number of balanced electrons. If it is P block, then you find the number of uh, balanced electrons and then you add 10 to it. If it is D block, then then you find the number of uh, electron in n-1 d subshell and also the outermost valence subshell, you add this and whatever you get is a group number. If it is f block, there is no group number for f block, right? So let's take some example, uh, hydrogen 1s, which uh, block it belongs to, s block, correct? So the valence number will be, uh, the number of valence electron will be my group number so it becomes group 1. Correct. Helium. Helium is 1s. Actually helium should be in s block but there is a uh, uh, discrepancy here. Helium is in p block. And why helium is in p block? Because the properties of helium matches with the p block elements and that's why helium is put in the p block. So please note, in the last slide also I, I made some uh, mistake here. I told helium is in s block but actually helium based on the electronic configuration it should be in s block but there is a exception to this rule. Helium is in p block. Helium is in p block and its atomic number, is, uh, the valence electron is 2. So the group number will be 10 plus. So it should be 12, but again here is the exception, helium is in 18th uh, group. So this rule doesn't apply for helium because helium, we have changed the group and all, so let's, let's not discuss helium in this, is the exception, right. Let's start with lithium, lithium is again is uh, S block, outermost is an S, S block, so the number of valence electron will give you the uh, group number. So it is 1. Beryllium again is an S block. So the group number is the number of electron in the uh, outermost cell that is 2. Boron. Boron is P block and the number of valence electron is 1. So the group number will be 10 plus 1 is 11. Similarly carbon is P block and the valence uh, number electron is 2. So the Group number will be 10 plus 2, that is 12. Second rule, P block. For nitrogen also, if you see, it is a P block. So this will be 3 plus 10, that is 30. Oxygen also, if you see, 4. So it will be 4 plus 10, 14. Fluorine, it is 5. And it is P block, so it will be 5 plus 10, 15 group. 15 group. For uh, neon, it is 6. Right, uh, the valence electron is 6, it is p block, p block, so it will be 6 plus 10, that is 16. So this is done. Start with sodium, sodium is again s, so we just use the first formula, number of valence electron is 1, so it is first group. Magnesium, s block, so it will be second group. Why? Because two uh, electrons, valence electron. Aluminium, if you see, it is a p block, so again we will add 10 to it. So this becomes 10 plus uh, 1 that is 11. Silicon also if you see 3, uh, third, uh, sorry 3p. So it's a p block. So you have to add 10 plus the number of LS electron. So like that it will continue. If you take this guy now, potassium again. Potassium again is S block. So we'll just use the same number as my uh, group number. So it becomes 1. Calcium also S block, so it will be same number. Correct. 
let's take some d block also element so this guy is scandium if you see scandium this is d block element for d block the formula is the number of electrons in n minus 1 d subshell n valence subshell n minus 1 is this because n is uh, 3 here sorry here n is my 4 so n minus 1 d is 3 d so you have to add this guy 3 d and the valence cell is 4 s obviously here correct you add these two you get 3 so it is in third group. here also if you see titanium it is d block so you have to add this uh, and the valence cell is 4 s here 4 n is equal to 4 so i have to add 3 d and this guy 2 plus 2 it is 4 so for all these elements if you see for example this also if you take nickel right so nickel if you see uh, this is again a d block element and the valence cell is 4s so 4 minus 1 is 3 3d so 3d and 4s you add this becomes 10 so it is in 10 correct similarly copper if you see copper will be 10 plus 1 11 and zinc will be 10 plus 2 that is 12 and that is how you find the flow. Helium is the exception to this because helium by electronic configuration should be in S block but since the helium property matches with the P block element helium has been put in P block element that is why this uh, which group it belongs to and which block it belongs to you can't find for helium using electronic configuration. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.